what's up youtube pj back with another video for you guys and i'm gonna start this video out by explaining to you a couple things that have been going on with my car all right to start it off i need to pop this hood all right so last time i was at the track we all saw that my car was running a bit odd and to make a long story short this right here it was loose my intake what is this intake tube or whatever it was loose i put a little bit of pressure on it whenever i was what was i doing i was changing out my spark plugs and i have to tell you guys about that but whenever i was changing my spark plugs i put a little bit of pressure on here and this just came right on off and that's not supposed to happen so that was a bad thing for my engine just because um the math sensor is right here and the math monitors the air that comes in from the intake and yeah if the air is coming in from up here then that would obviously be unmetered air which would make the car run lean and i'm gonna post a picture right here somewhere of what the spark plugs looked like whenever that happened and it could have ended up being way worse than it was whenever i was doing the pool because uh okay so one of the days after i came back from the streetcar revolution i decided to do a pull in my car and to see what was actually going wrong with it and which was a bad idea i already know my bad but while i did the pull i got up to about 5,000 rpms in fourth gear again and it started breaking up real bad and Whenever I let off of it and got back down to cruising speeds, the car just sounded so bad. I wish I would have recorded so y'all could hear what it sounded like. But it literally sounded like every cylinder was misfiring. And I didn't know what to do. I got scared. I immediately pulled over, shut the car off, and I just sat there and thought. I called up people to see what to do. I checked out my coils. Like, I unplugged them while the car was running. Nothing was changing. So, obviously, something was going on wrong with it. And I already know y'all are going to grill me about it. I do need to get an AFR gauge. I already know I have one on the way. But, yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty scary. I mean, the car is running fine now. But that brings me to this. Randomly, one day, I was just driving around. Normally, wasn't getting in the boost or anything. And... My car started overheating. I believe it was just a fluke accident. Like there was still some air pockets or whatever in the cooling system. And so I just burped the system once again from right here. And I'm gonna burp it again after probably a few more days of driving it just to be sure, be on the safe side. And after I burped it and everything, I drove it around fine. It was all working fine and dandy. And then later on that night, I decided to do another pull, which resulted in this boiling over um whenever i opened it up this was actually almost empty i have never filled this up i have never even touched the inside of this before and as you can see it's basically full now but um one thing is whenever i open this all right so nothing's on right now but when the car is on um the water pump for the intercooler for the supercharger is actually supposed to be pumping and making this circulate on the inside and that wasn't doing it i believe my water pump went out and the way i troubleshooted that was you just take off this little box right here and as you can see there's a relay under it and you just take that relay out and you actually can see that on youtube or something but you take the relay out and there are two poles the east and west poles you have to connect with some type of wire or like i used a paper clip but that still should have worked and whenever you do that the pump automatically comes on and it'll start circulating well that didn't happen and so they told me to check the fuse box right here for the 10 amp fuse which is right here the red one and i checked that and the fuse is good so now i have to swap out the water pump i actually got this in a few days ago thanks to rock auto and their expedited shipping just because I didn't want to run my car like it still drove or whatever but i just couldn't put it in the boost because that was my supercharger intercooler water pump or whatever but now i have it in and i bought this brand new and this is what it looks like for all of you that need to know what it looks like and it's located under the passenger side headlight in case you didn't know and I'm about to show you how I install this right now. All right, so I just noticed, like, it looks like somebody took a big chunk out of the wheel well right here. But I guess that's better off for me. But, uh, hold on. I don't, I don't know if you can see it or not. But let's see. 
there it is right there I don't know if you know what you're looking at but let me try to let me try to get a hand in here here it is right here this part is what I'm changing out and so first thing I'm gonna have to do is jack the car up and then try to move some of the wheel well out of the way and undo the hoses to it and find out what I need to do from there all right so now we have a better look at it um as you can see there's a hose right here and a hose right here that both need to come loose and then there's a sensor on the back side of it right here that needs to come loose and it looks like oh it's being held in by a bracket so we could just slide it out of the bracket looks like it but let me get the job done a few moments later and here I am losing daylight once again but thanks to Rock Auto this looks pretty good pretty decent looks like the same piece but uh if it's not a direct fit then Rock Auto then you let me down but you know you usually don't let me down except for that one time but I'm not gonna speak on that but let me install this and then I'll get right back with you and the installation process should be directly as you uninstalled it but uh I did take this one bolt out and this was on the bracket that's holding that in but you should be able to see this bolt if you're doing this yourself um but I don't think that I needed to undo it but I did it anyways because I mean why not but uh let me go ahead and do this so I can get back with you okay so now I have everything back tightened up and oh my gosh the bugs they're getting on my nerves but uh now the only thing I have to do now is fill the reservoir back up and just take it for a test drive and put it in boost and hope that this problem is solved all right so after a lot of time of trying and a lot of errors and a lot of refilling well not a lot but i refilled this thing one more time i finally got it doing something as you can see i do have the paper clip on it well i don't know if you can see the paper clip but yeah i have the paper clip on both of these poles and it's running you can actually hear it too if you listen closely and what I had to do was I had to remove this hose right here and I actually had to put my lips on this right here and blow and when I did that it loosened up all the air and the water pump and the coolant started flowing through here which led to all of this mess so when I plugged it back up it still didn't work but whenever I, I just blew in it again and held pressure on it for about five seconds and now I'm where I'm at now to finally take this on a test drive and one day clean out my engine bay again 